Greetings, Internet, and welcome once again to Insane Ian Taste Test Things, because he has nothing better to do with his free time. Uh, this is a special week this week, because a friend of mine, my friend Robin, sent me a package, a care package, if you will, of Southern Treats. That's what she called them. She says here, Hi, Ian. Contained in this box is a care package of Southern Yummies. I've been eating this stuff and I'm not dead yet. A true sign of... something. The only thing that needs instructions would be the can of boiled peanuts. Keep doing what you do. I love the way you bring the ha-has. It's very lovely. Let me show you what I've got. We've got a frosty blue cream soda, which, admittedly, she calls a southern yummy. We have this here. Uh, not in quite a large bottle, but yes, we have that. Grapeco soda, uh, which I'm assuming is a sparkling grape soda, a southern thing for a hundred years. I, I hope this is not a hundred year old bottle. Then we have Mutton Chef Pork Cracklins. I'm very excited to try these. I've never had pork cracklins before. And then of course we have the traditional moon pies. We've got a banana and chocolate mini moon pies. Now, admittedly, I used to live in Maryland, which they consider south, because it's just south of that Manson-Nixon line. You know what, still, I've had moon pies, but it's been a while since I've had moon pies, and I don't think I've had banana. There was also vanilla in the package, and I had to eat that right away, because it had opened, and I didn't want it to go bad. Yes, that's the reason I ate moon pies. Anyway, there's also three different varieties of the Carolina Nut Company, uniquely flavored nuts. Uh, these aren't your normal nuts. I would hope not. Sriracha Ranch Peanuts. These will be last. There's also Dill Pickle Peanuts. Ha. Huh? And Sea Salt and Pepper Peanuts. I, I, I'm in for, for trouble here. And finally, uh, as she said in her little letter there, boiled peanuts. Now this is the only thing in here that'll take a little preparation. It says on the package, heating it in the original brine for, uh, for extra flavor. <laughs> All right, sure. They are green peanuts boiled in brine, thereby retaining their distinctive flavor. Open, drain liquid, shell, and eat. We'll see about that. So what am I gonna try first? I'm gonna try the one thing that I have not ever had before. Mutton Jeff Pork Cracklins. They're called Pork Cracklin Curls, but I like calling them Pork Cracklins, because that's just fun. Fried out pork fat with attached skin and salt. My, doesn't that sound appetizing? <laughs> uh, and there's a picture of, of Mutton Jeff on the cover there. Folk heroes, Mutt, and Jeff. Let's just crack a bag of cracklins then. That, that doesn't, that doesn't smell great. It doesn't smell awful, but it doesn't, it doesn't smell great. That is a, looks like a puffy curly fry. Here we go. Well, so you look at them and you expect like, I don't know what you expect when you look at them, but there's a definite pork flavor on those. That it, it looks like a cheese puff with all the dust knocked off of it, and then you try it, and it tastes like pig. <laughs> I saw the sell-by date on here, and it says sell-by August 1917, and I thought that meant that was the entire year. No, August 19th of 2017, but uh, August 1917, because this is from 1916. Time is wibbly wobbly. They're not bad. They're definitely a uh, more savory flavor than I was expecting, so cool. They're like, it's like air puffed meat that's been dried out. <laughs> Fried out, at least. That's what it says, fried out pork fat. That's what you're eating. Health. 
we're gonna need something to wash that down with. So we're gonna go with Frosty Blue Cream Soda. Just a cream soda that's blue, I'm guessing, from the Frosty Root Beer Company. In Detroit, that's why we have it here too. Now I've had these in my fridge for a little bit to, to cool. That smells exactly like cream soda. It doesn't taste blue. I don't know what that means. George Carlin does a bit about there's no blue food. Not naturally, really. It tastes like cream soda, and it's awesome. Hooray for this. I'm gonna finish this bottle tonight. Let's move on to the moon pies. Banana moon pie, these are, these are tasty. Original marshmallow sandwich. Going with the banana because I've had moon pies. Don't think I've had this flavor. Chocolate, I've had chocolate moon pies. That is a moon pie, it's a mini moon pie. It's a mini moon pie. Anything that's like artificially banana smells artificial. Sometimes it doesn't quite taste right. Doesn't quite taste like banana. Like, like little, like the Runtz candies that are banana. They have this weird chemical banana, but not quite banana flavor. They taste off. Moon pies are delicious. It's marshmallow and crusty stuff and flavoring and I know I'm really selling it, but whatever. It's a damn moon pie. Oh, that's so good. Just marshmallow and joy. That's all it is, is marshmallow and joy. This is gonna be one of those videos where you're just gonna see me enjoying things until I get to the boiled peanuts, but well, 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 we'll see. Yeah. This is awesome. Basically, what she's done is sent me fattening devices. I'm getting very comfortable here and mm, snacks. I need snacks. You can send me snacks. You have something weird and delicious that you like? Send it to me, please. I would have very much enjoyed taste testing things I've never tried before. That's what this video series is all about. These are not just taste tests. These are first time taste tests, which admittedly with the uh, moon pies I, I, I have done had moon pie before, but again, I'm not getting a banana flavor off it too much. It's marshmallow, it's cream, it's delicious, but I'm not getting a banana flavor. It's just a, bleh, it's there, but man, it's good. <laughs> now, Grapeco. Why, why Grapeco? Is this the only flavor you sell? Grapeco, you. After a hundred years, you only sell grape. Sparkling Grapeco. It doesn't even say grape on it. It's just sparkling Grapeco. You've named your flavor Grapeco. You've named your company Grapeco. This is all you are. Fine. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, phosphoric acid, red number 40, blue number one. Mm. Under the authority of Sun Fresh Beverages in Birmingham, Alabama. Grapeco.com apparently is a website, but it's still under a, a different beverage company. Sunfresh, they make sun-flavored drinks. <laughs> God, I'm dumb. All right, we're gonna have a little flavor of this. And I've said before, I really like grape sodas. I, I, I you know, the, the Mountain Dew Black Label, it's delicious. That's a, that's a grape scent. <laughs> that's grape. Sorry. Yeah, that is, that's grape. And it's sparkling grape soda. It's delicious. Uh, if you like grape sodas, if you're into that, but I am, so yay. Man, that's good. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Well, be nuts. I'm in a especially wacky mood right now. I don't know why. Sea salt and pepper peanuts. Let's try these bad boys out first. It just smells like nuts. That's gonna get taken out of context. Anyway, they appear to have flavoring on there. Salt and pepper flavoring. So we're gonna try these. Sea salt and pepper. It's just salt and pepper on a peanut. It's wonderful, it's fine. They're delicious nuts. If you're into the salty, if you're into the savory snacks, that's a good one, Carolina Nut Company. Your other flavors though, they worry me. They worry me, Carolina Nut Company. Dill pickle peanuts. <laughs> now we're getting into the weird territory. And this package, this package is a little messed up. Tear off is up here and it's, all folded over and I'm complaining and you don't care. I know how it goes. Nuts stuck in my teeth. I'm getting a hint of dill off of that. Not really a pickle flavor, not really a, a vinegary pickle smell, but definitely a, a, a dill scent. 
lots of lots of dust all over those guys. That is flavoring. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. That is a vinegary pickle flavor. Yeah. So strong I couldn't say it. Yeah, man. That is a pickle peanut. Yeah. A lot of flavor dust gets all over your fingers on, but that flavor, man, hits you right away. That is strong. If you don't like peanuts, you wouldn't be eating any of these. Allergies are a thing. If you don't like pickles, probably not the flavor you'd want to get, but then again, why would you buy a flavor when you know you don't like that flavor? It makes a lot of sense to me, but these are good. I enjoy them. Sriracha ranch peanuts. I've said before, I don't like spicy stuff. I don't like hot stuff. I love barbecue, but not hot. Sweet, not hot. Sriracha ranch. I'm a feared. But for the benefit of science, we must sally forth. Getting a ranch scent, but not a sriracha scent. My nose isn't a flame. These are definitely a lot redder than the other ones have been. Huh. Oh, here we go. Wasn't bad. A little bit of a bite to it. You can feel it a little later. A little bit of an aftertaste. That sriracha sinking into your taste bud. It depends on how much flavor powder is on the nuts. That's gonna kick in with that heat. I'm definitely feeling it in the back of my throat now. There's definitely a lot of powder on those. It starts out and it's a little bit of a bite, a little bit of a heat, a little sting. And then after you chew and swallow it, it traces down to your throat and goes here. I'm gonna mess this up too. I won't be having any more of those. Just a mite too hot for me. But then again, if you're into heat and into peanuts, you'll probably enjoy them. I'm not, so over there they go. Finally, boiled peanuts from the Margaret Holmes peanut patch. The South's favorite snack. If you live in the South, can you confirm that for me? Is this your favorite snack, boiled peanuts? I don't know if you can hear that. That is an immediate liquid sound. It tells you to heating directions, empty contents into saucepan, do not boil, drain and serve. Well, that's, there's microwave instructions. And empty contents into microwave safe dish, cover, microwave on high, minute and a half to two minutes. This is directly different than the instructions that my friend Robin sent me. Drain half the liquid, microwave for 30 seconds or till hot. Dump in a bowl and enjoy. I'm just gonna use a bowl. I'm gonna dump it in a bowl put half the liquid in there because that's how Robin eats these and she survived. So, ha, we're gonna try this and be right back. We have a bowl of boiled peanuts. Didn't really get a scent off of them when I opened the can, but I did notice it was full of brine and the peanuts are still shelled. Well, some of them. Some of them got so wet in the brine that the shell broke and they fell out of them. I heated it for 35 seconds because microwave ovens may vary. After draining half of the brine, or dumping the whole container rest, peanuts and brine all into this bowl. There's still brine. There's still a lot of brine. I suddenly don't like this show anymore and I haven't even tried them. Now, I'm sure they're just peanuts, but uh, they're wet. Peanuts. And warm, sure. Peanut dripping warm briny. The thing about them being wet oh, is that is that it's just goo coming out. Goo coming out. Goo coming out. That's not a peanut. That's that's soft. Peanuts aren't soft. We've made gooey peanut butter. Let's try a different one. There we go. The smaller one. We're going to carefully crack this if we can because the shell is wet. Well, it's gone to two halves. I don't know if I can get the shell off the damn nut. Come on, you. Uh, these are slimy. They're wet, they're soft, they're soggy, and they're gross. And I'm going to eat one. All right, Southerners, if that is your favorite snack, there could be a joke about the North winning here, but that that's even too much. I just, I don't have the effort. These are gross. They're, they're sticky, wet, soggy, gross, wet, hot peanuts. Don't, don't boil your peanuts. 
peanuts have a crunch, crispness to them. That's part of the enjoyment of their flavor. You have soaked them in brine and deprived them of their fun and their flavor, and now it's just wet and soggy and ick. This was the last thing out of all the things that I had to eat, and I'm so saddened by this last thing. It, number one, they're just hard to get out of the shell without totally destroying the nut. And then when you do finally get to taste it, no. <sighs> All the other things were fine, good, delicious. Some flavors, not my favorites, but still, these were really good. Boiled peanuts, no thank you. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed my taste test. If you do, please like and subscribe here and the little subscription button. You can also check out previous taste test videos on the playlist here. And if you'd like to see Robin's reviews of video games and horror stuff, Robin Plays is right here. Thanks very much for tuning in this week. I'm Insane Ian. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Drink more of this. Throw those nuts away.